Hey, it's Kamori, and in today's episode of How to Use a Sewing Machine, we're going to talk about bobbins. When the thread is on the machine, you have your thread coming from the top of the machine, and then you have a secondary place where the thread comes from underneath, and that thread is going to be wound onto a smaller spool called a bobbin. You can pretty much get two different types of bobbins. You can either have some made out of metal, or you can have some made out of plastic. In my personal experience, I find that the plastic bobbins are more likely to break, especially if you accidentally step on one, where the metal ones are more durable. However, when you're sewing, if you are in a dorm room or something like that, I do find that the plastic bobbins tend to be less noisy than the metal ones. If you are unsure what size bobbin you need for your machine, you can start by checking the manual that came with your machine. And sometimes that information's in there, sometimes it is not. I went looking through my manual and I could not find that information anywhere. Also had a difficult time finding it online. It seems like they're operating under the assumption that you're just going to buy the bobbins from the manufacturer, which really isn't feasible for everyone. So, unfortunately, in that case, there really isn't much you can do besides get a pack of bobbins from your local Walmart or fabric and craft shop and test it out and see which fits for you. When you first get your bobbins, they're going to be empty, so you're going to have to fill them with whichever thread color you need for your project. And you're going to do that by taking your base spool of thread and you're going to slide it onto the top of the machine. Then there should be a little stopper to keep it from flying off. And when you're putting your thread on, your spool of thread on, you want to pay attention if there are any notches or any irregularities in the plastic that could potentially catch the thread. So if there is a notch, you want it to be on the back portion of the spool. Then you're going to take your thread. It tends to be a bit different for every machine, so you want to consult your manual, but there are also some arrows on your machine as well. So for this one, we're going to take the thread and we're going to bring it around this little piece right here. It's a bit difficult to do one-handed. Then we're going to take the bobbin and slide it onto this little piece here. Then we're going to take our thread and and, and you're going to bring it up through one of the holes in the bobbin. Some bobbins only have one hole, however this bobbin has holes on the, has a bunch of holes, so you can just use whichever one you want. Grab the end. Oh, it's not on the fold. So we'll press it down a little bit more. Then we're going to bring it over and this is going to act as a little guideline. And for this machine, to activate the bobbin, you're going to pull this section outward until it pops. Once everything is in place, then going to turn the machine on and keep a hold of this little piece of thread for the beginning just so it doesn't go spiraling out of control and press the foot pedal down once you've got it partially filled you can let go of the top thread and just continue filling the bobbin if you're only needing a little tiny bit of thread you don't have to fill the bobbin fully you can just fill it to whatever you think is appropriate then you pop the bobbin back out so that it can be removed and just trim the thread so that it is no longer attached to the larger spool. Remove the bobbin and also be sure to push that back in so it is no longer on the bobbin setting. And that was a quick intro to bobbins. In the next episode we will talk about how to thread the machine itself, and start sewing. I hope you found this video helpful. For more cosplay sewing videos, please subscribe, and thank you very much for watching!